going into every year, we have expectations. Uh, a lot of the things that we've done this year uh, going to the season, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the challenges that we have ahead. We have, I want to say, we have 10 new players, potentially. Uh, five guys that you know, played on our team last season. Uh, so there's going to be some challenges there. Uh, but we've been here now for about four weeks now. Guys have been in right after Labor Day. And that's definitely changed. Uh, we've never had that before. It was always, you know, maybe you know, a week before. So it's pretty pretty cool to see the, the change that has been taking place. Uh, our guys are hungry. Uh, our guys are going to be very competitive. Uh, my job is to get them better every day. Um, but I like, I, like, I like the expectations we have. We want to we play hard and play, play well for one another. We want to win games. Um, we're not going into the season um, knowing exactly what each player will be or become. Uh, you know, last season we've had a lot of veteran guys, a lot of guys that have been in the league for eight, nine, ten years. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't work out. I like I like the I like the group we have right now. I like the guys, the energy, the vibe, the, the spirit of the group, and it's going to be pretty fun to coach. How are uh, how are things shaping up? Looking ahead to your first practice, uh, who do you expect to be limited, and, and who do you expect to uh, maybe be ready to go that uh, has been nursing an injury? I mean, you're, you're challenging me right now. Just uh, we have so many guys, and but I, uh, it will not practice. And, Already public. Um, John is not practicing. Uh, Troy Brown is not practicing. Jan has been uh, nursing uh, some Achilles pain, uh, so he, he probably will not practice. Um, nothing serious. Uh, who else do we have? Um, yeah, CJ, thank you. Uh, he's not practicing. So we have some challenges to hit right now with um, just our, our limited uh, guys during training camp. But uh, the guys that are will be practicing are going to give us great energy. And, and we have a lot to put in, a lot to learn. And a lot. We, have a, we don't have a lot of um, uh, wizard knowledge right now because of all the new guys. But we have a lot of, a lot of high character IQ guys. So I think things are going to be moving along pretty good. I think uh, Ted and our ownership group was very patient uh, restructuring, restructuring the, our our program. You know, I, I, I like the changes that um, that I've seen so far. It's been great. It's been very collaborative. Um, we added a lot of a lot of new coaches, um, but. It's, it's, I feel like it's a basketball program. The Mystics are incredible. They're doing well. The game was amazing yesterday, but we're, we're going to take um, a couple of his coaches and we're going to use uh, uh, them for our season in the go-go with Ryan as the head coach. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be very integrated and we're going to use some of his coaches and vice versa. He's going to use some of our coaches. So there's been a lot of changes, but I, I like the, I like the direction. I like the, the momentum we're, we're starting off with, with a lot of new players that are hungry, that are that, that want to be here, that want to want to grow together. Uh, and I have, you know, I have some experience in, in, in coaching players in this position of their career. And I'm looking forward to it. Scott, uh, first of all, welcome back. Um, I feel like uh, a lot of times coaches uh, spend their off seasons uh, really focusing in on some of the things that went on during last season or looking for ways to improve. When you look back at last season, uh, what, what, what are some of the things that you felt like um, you know you, you wanted to work on or improve as far as you know not only from a, a X's and O standpoint, but even from like a cultural and a leadership standpoint? I, I mean, I think I mean, last year was tough on all of us. There's changes that were made um, that were a direct result of our lack of success last season. We went into the season 
thinking that we had a really good team, that we can really challenge uh, the best teams. And you know, unfortunately, you know, we've had um, we had some tough luck. You know, Dwight uh, Howard missing basically 70 something games. John was out for over 50 games or 50 games right there. But going into this summer, it was totally changed. I knew that we were going to make a lot of changes, and I was uh, on board with all of them. I know uh, with our players, uh, didn't, for whatever reason, that some of the fits, or some of the players that didn't fit, and we had good players too, and they were going to have successful years this year with other teams. Uh, but we needed to make changes, and, I, and I, I like it. We have, I mean, I, I've always told whoever I, I coach, I don't coach age, but I understand that we have a lot of young players, but when you play in the NBA, I don't look at how old you are. I look at you sign up to be an NBA player, you have to be a professional, and I think that's the main thing that we're gonna try to get accomplished these next you know, few weeks of training camp. We're gonna have to uh, teach these guys how to be pros, and by doing that, you gotta come to work every day. You gotta be together every day. You gotta focus on uh, challenging yourself every day, and I think we have that spirit going into this training camp. Scott, over here. Um, Justin Anderson's uh, kind of a late addition to your training camp roster. What do you know about him? What's his opportunity, and what could he bring? To the team? Well, I know what I know about him. Coached against them. He's aggressive. He's uh, feisty on both ends of the floor. I, I like his experience. Uh, I think he has, he's going to get a great opportunity to make our team. Um, there's nothing, there's no givens here. I mean, we got a, a couple of spots that are open uh, that, that we're going to have a lot of guys challenging. It's going to be a tough decision at the end of this camp to make that decision, but we're going to do it collectively as a group. Uh, but Justin is, I uh, like his uh, athleticism. He's versatile. He can play a lot of different spots and guard a lot of different players. Um, but I'm looking forward to seeing how he competes in, in during our training camp and exhibition season, but he's definitely going to have a, ch a chance to make the team. Scott, are you going into this season mentally prepared, preparing yourself that John will not play? Um, no. I think um, the plan is we're going to be very patient. And John is, I love what John's doing. He's coming in, he's been here early, as well with all of our other guys, and he's putting in work. Uh, it's an all day, full time for him. He's, he's getting after it every day, and I see the improvements. I mean, the incremental gains that we need him to make, he's making. Um, so I don't know, I mean, I don't know if he's gonna play this year. Uh, there's a good chance that he misses most of the season, if not all the season. We're gonna be very patient. With that injury, it's, you know, we've seen some of the history there and uh, with other guys that had that injury. So we're just really patient. He's not going to play until he's ready 100%. And he understands that. But I, what I love about John, he's going to fight us over it. And he's going to challenge us over it. But he knows that we have his best interests and we're always going to have the athlete's best interests having the injuries. And we've had, unfortunately, we've had our share the last two years. Hopefully, Hopefully we can get it by us uh, training camp and we can move on and have a successful, healthy year. Uh, but that's part of coaching. Uh, you, you have to be able to prepare as best you can and then also understand that there's going to be some things that pop up you're not, you didn't, you know, you didn't prepare for. You know, I don't, I don't prepare to have injuries. I don't prepare, okay, if this guy's not going to play because he's going to, I don't do that. I just, you know, I hope for the best, but I understand that's part of the game. But the group, we, even even the tough years that we've had last year, we didn't make excuses of, over the injuries. And we lost two really, really good players in most of the season. It's hard to overcome. But with Rui and our younger players, uh, the art of coaching is getting through the season. And to, getting them to understand that we have to come into work every day regardless of what's around us. And uh, what the circumstances are around us. And I'm, I'm excited about it. I can't wait. Uh, I can't wait to get in with the group and uh, really be hands-on. You know, the September's hard for head coaches because you, you get to just watch. You can't really get out there and coach because it's not within the rules. But 
Uh, October is here uh, tomorrow, and we're excited about it. I don't know how good we're going to be, but I know we're going to have we're going to be scrappy, and we're going to we're going to be tough, and we're going to play together, and we're going to play hard. We're going to overcome some of our inexperiences early on. I think with great effort and great uh, team spirit. Hopefully, our fans will see that. I, I think they will, and I, I'm excited to, to be a part of it. Scott, um, can you talk about uh, your early uh, impressions of working with Dean Oliver and what he can bring to the team as far as the basketball analytics standpoint? And then I'll also talk about um, last year or the past years, like improving on the team's shot profile, really taking the, the correct shots, but, you know, kind of, you know, just not really the ball, not really going in last season. But I, how do you stay focused as a coach on just trusting the numbers and making sure that, you know, you know that you're headed in the right direction, even though the results might not be there? Well, Tommy Shepard has done a great job of uh, challenging myself and the staff uh, to getting better. Uh, I mean, he's, I've known 